this whole fuck. A figure is suddenly aware of their surroundings. The walls are cold and slick. The floor is a solid void, and the air shimmers with a shadowy haze. The unknown figure looks about, barely able to see anything. What am I doing here? I was... I was searching for something. They think. There are voices audible in the distance, echoing and distorted, drawing closer. The figure realizes they can't stay here. They must find a way out. And so must all of you. As this is your next quest. Listen carefully, travelers. You must search for a way through the darkness and avoid the monsters at all cost. Getting caught in a monster's cone of light will fracture the girl's hope and you will hear thunder crash. If you are caught, keep moving. At this time, NPCs, please step forward and stand next to me. NPCs, please turn on your searchlights and show them to the group. My friends, please make sure you have the avatars enabled of Lurker and Goku God, as they will be the nightmare monsters. Before you depart, fast off, please translate that they must make it through this maze without getting caught in a monster's cone of light. Otherwise, it will fracture the girl's hope and you will hear thunder crash. On va devoir euh, traverser le cauchemar de la, de la petite fille euh, sans se faire attraper par les monstres de son de ses rêves. Euh, si jamais on entend le son d'un éclair, c'est que l'un de nous s'est fait attraper, mais ça veut dire, ça veut pas dire qu'il faut s'arrêter, il faut quand même continuer. Donc il faut éviter les monstres et arriver à la fin du, du labyrinthe pour que la petite fille puisse euh, garder l'espoir. Thank you. Hold on. Goku God and Lurker, please let me know in the backstage chat if someone is caught. You may just type the letter C if you wish, and you may now take your place in the nightmare. J'ai peur. <laughs> I don't think he... <laughs> Travelers, through the dark, she dreams for you, and your quest begins now. Good luck. Wait till they realize you can go through the walls. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> mm. I have visions of soup on the other side. Bathrooms. La la la. Ish. La 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 la. Yay! Yay! 
It's gonna be a box session now. Final combat! Dame el beat, dame el beat, burra. Click, click. ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál de todos? <laughs> Métete ahí. Ya viste por qué me perdí. Sí, <laughs> su música lo despertó. Una... On a, on a rappé, on a rappé euh, dans la salle de tennis. C'est une délivrance. Oh MS, tu sais, tu t'es fait casser par MS. Il veut quoi lui Ah, <rire> t'as mis ton épée. <rire> par contre, je, 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 je suis désolé, mais j'ai pris mon avatar. J'ai trop envie de. Je veux d'abord ma casquette McDo. Tu t'es chopé ou pas du coup Il a fait chier tout le monde. 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 Il a fait chier Ah oui, ton tonneau, vas-y. Mets ton tonneau et après tu mets ton épée à côté. Ça va marcher. Tu peux traverser certains murs. Regarde. Oui, oui, les murs. T'es en dessous, t'as raison. Comme ça, ça chauffe le tonneau. Hop les. Et voilà. Pizza. Oh là, Scuba. The soup? Oh, we don't have panda here. We need panda's pot to have the soup. Yeah, we need panda. Qu'est-ce qu'il qu qu y a Ah ouais, je, je, vas-y, je vais remuer avec un peu de, un peu de dumas. Moi, le tonneau, je le vois pas dans le Ah, attends, vas-y, je le vois pas dans le feu. Ah, là, c'est là. Il y aura bien. On va pas trop. Dumas, on va voir aussi. C'est que à chaque fois qu'on fait le tour, qu'ils viennent tous autour de ce feu là, ils invoquent un feu droit et ils sont tous autour et ils font soupe, 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 soupe. Ouais, j'ai jamais compris. Soupe, soupe, soupe. On n'a jamais compris la blague. Ça fait plaisir au guide. Non, mais c'est les anglais, ils sont pas comme nous. Je plaisante. Je plaisante, ça va. Oui, heureusement. Je me ferai taper. Je vais le dire. <rire> D'accord, c'est un métacola en défense. Je vais dire, je vais dire, je vais dire, je vais dire. Puisque c'est pas... Non, c'est la version de l'hiver. Non, c'est pas un métacola. Il y avait tout le monde. C'est mieux le métacola. Oui. Au moins, c'est pas une marque déposée. Ça a fermé un peu la marche, Bobby. Tu fais avoir Oui, attendez. Je sais pas trop. J'arrive toujours pas à la porter, ton épée. C'est très drôle, mais t'es avec un groupe, et t'es un petit groupe. C'est ok. Je suis pas loin, mais il y a Furfu qui a coup, donc je vais chercher. Excusez-moi. Excusez-moi. Don't worry, I record all of them, so if you want to watch them, they're on my YouTube. So you don't miss much. No, no, but I'm talking like we are so late in the WN. Ah, ouais. Oh. They were caught. They got caught. Oh, it makes sense. My, my, my mistake. My mistake. Bouhou noob. Pour la vanne. Normalement, la fin de l'histoire n'est pas définie à l'avance et du coup, en fonction de comment on déroule toutes les épreuves, tu peux avoir une fin bonne ou mauvaise. Et là, comme on est loqué sur la bonne fin, en fait, ça change rien. Quand on est loqué sur la bonne fin, en fait, ça change rien. On est loqué sur une fin particulière, on peut pas la changer. Ouais, ouais. Non. C'est quand même pas fait choper, moi. Pourquoi C'est tout le groupe, en fait. Tout le groupe s'est fait choper dès le début. Parce que c'est plus simple, je ferais peut-être après. La honte. Ah, mais je peux pas juste en montant. Non, bah, c'est pas genre, tu es parti direct. Ah, moi, c'est un. Tu fais tous les deux par le même, mais il y a caché. Non, en gros, 
moi j'ai fait les trois fins, euh, la fin oh, mauvaise, c est, c est, c est, elle est un peu méta et il faut avoir déjà fait plusieurs ah, de avec eux pour vraiment apprécier je pense. Et la fin neutre, il manque un gros segment à la fin qui est vraiment épique et que je bah non, moi je voulais pas l'entendre. Patrick qui dit ça en plus d'habitude. C'est la phrase à ça, parce qu'on peut manger. Bon question, mon pote. Ouais, me pique mon boulot. Me pique mon boulot. Ouais, faut chier, t'as foutu la merde. Oh là 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 là. Ben non, 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 justement, moi j'ai rien demandé de spoiler la fin. C'est moi qui vais te cuisiner avec ma poêle à frire qui est également bon. Soup 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 On a pris déjà. Oh merde On était droit On était droit Ah je suis allé chercher quelqu'un, j'ai raté la soupe. We need panda. T'as raté la soupe. I miss the soup, no Yeah, we do need panda. The story continues. Well done. You all survived the nightmare. The story continues. The girl wakes herself up screaming in the dark of night, her eyes filled with tears as she frantically calls for her mother. Quickly, the mother comes to comfort her terrified child. The daughter begins describing a dark place with monsters, but she struggles to speak through her trembling. The mother rocks her in her arms, telling her it was just a nightmare, not to worry. The girl tries to tell her that there's someone in there, searching for something, but her voice fails her. She is reassured that it was not real. Everything is safe now. Together, they sit rocking for a while as the rain dies down, revealing a morning sun. The storm clouds begin to part, revealing the golden orb. And somehow, the forest remains gray. The mother thinks to herself that the town of Shade has always been a rebel place that supplies move through. Surely, clues to the Ethos Coalition are there. The mother checks the sky. Clear for now. My friends, let us make haste to the town of Shade. Good play. On my way, on my way, on my way to eat your skin. Uh, On my way, Quelqu'un qui est tombé. Ah. Je peux tomber dans le vide. Oui. Pourquoi La merde, c'est pas un gars, quoi. La pensée. T'as les pisser dessus ou quoi Non, je viens. Mais non. La pensée vous suit. Hugue tri, hugue lampadaire. Non, je crois qu'il y a le. <laughs> no. Oh, oh, may I ask you to come hither? Yep. Has everyone made it? I think so. This is all for that. The next part is another quest. I will ask you to translate once I am finished. Someone had to rejoin. I'm, I'm gonna go gather them first. If that's okay. 
Well, who is it at the main oh, spawn point? I can Use go. the fast travel menu. Yep. Travelers, kindly do not leave. Stay here and do not explore Never mind. the town okay. yet. Let's wait for fast off to return. Books a room which the innkeeper says will be ready a little later. She checks the sky and tells her daughter that they should gather supplies while they wait, as they likely have a long way to go tomorrow. My friend, this is your next quest. Listen carefully. All of you must explore the town of Shade. Scatter around are various supplies and clues the mother and daughter need. If you find an interesting looking item, please click it. It will appear in your tab key inventory. If you are in VR, you may press one of the buttons while raising your hand at eye level. It should make the menu appear and you will see inventory. Fast off, please translate. Donc, on va devoir chercher des objets qui seront utiles pour euh, la quête de la mère et de la fille dans toute la ville. Donc, euh, vous allez devoir euh, vous balader. Vous pouvez aller dans l'intérieur des maisons. Les objets sont tous des sprites 2D sur lesquels vous pouvez cliquer. Une fois que vous les avez euh, ramassés, ils seront ajoutés à votre inventaire. Pour accéder à l'inventaire, vous devez lever votre main au-dessus de votre tête, appuyer sur le bouton menu pour faire apparaître euh, le menu et euh, vous avez une section inventaire et là vous aurez la liste de tous les objets que vous avez ramassés c'est bon ah pour tout le monde c'est la main droite là sur le menu tab ah sur euh, et tab sur pc ah pour ouais, du master et tab sur pc si vous trouvez des bouteilles elles sont pour moi n'hésitez pas <rire> moi je vais rester là je vais aller chercher omelette quand il revient et je vais rester là Dream tu fous la merde on va t'attendre ok 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 Yeah, 5 minutes. 5 minutes. <laughs> 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 
5 minutes. Ah, on a 5 minutes pour euh, aller chercher prend, les objets et il faudra revenir quand on entendra le son d'une cloche, il faudra tous revenir ici. Et euh, les objets qu'on récolte auront un impact sur la suite de l'épisode. Contrairement à ce que je disais tout à l'heure à Metz, ça a quand même un impact sur la suite. Ouais, ouais. <rire> My friends, five minutes returned here. All the beer is for me! Clear for now. Good luck. <laughs> Are you lost? Yeah, I'm lost. Okay, so here. Uh, so he just came to find you. Hit hit your bleep, uh, button on your controller and go up, open oh. the fast travel. Oh, are you on desktop? Tab. Press yeah, tab. tab. And, uh, in the fast travel, oh. push the ball en anglais. <laughs> Appuie sur tab et on and est dans. Mm -hmm. Okay. Outpost and then. Thank you. Yep. Actually, no, wrong one. Do you? Oops. Omelette. Ok. Donc, euh, n'hésite pas à aller te balader dans la ville, trouver les objets. Euh, et euh, si tu veux descendre, descendre dans le monde entier, tu peux aller dans. Et voilà. Uh -oh. des trucs de mec pour qu'il allie ça ça à ça En fait, quand je, quand je respawn, en fait, on vous voit au loin. Ouais, on voit les oui, trucs. Oui, je sais. À la maison du spawn, on, on si, voit tout le monde grande. parce que ça, ça désactive tous les trucs. Il y a beaucoup de trucs, mais elle est pas grande. 
Oui, mais tu, veux dire, tu vois ce que je veux dire, elle est grande dans le contenu, quoi. toutes les maps qu'il y a dans... Dean Crash. Dean had to leave to fix some audio issues, but he'll be back. Oh, I figured that Dean Crash something. No, he's doing it on purpose. Best time to do it. Can we check the inn? Hmm? Sorry? Can we check the inn? No, it's the way. No, he's, he's gonna rejoin. Uh, he restarted uh, VR and chat for some reason, so he's gonna be back. Don't worry about it. Oh. Alright. I found the beer. Spain, 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 Gather around, the story continues. Well done. Hopefully, you all found what they need. The innkeeper tells the mother the room is ready. This way, my friends. I'm joining in. I did not consent to this. <laughs> Come on, this one get your own bathtub. This one is shared. Excuse me, show you what? This is like Japan. Mm -hmm. Everything is, you know, Wait, mixed. What? In Wait, Japan. Onsens are mixed. Mm -hmm. Female and male. 
Somebody was trying to ah, find feet. All right, yeah. <laughs> Still a little small for an onsen, though. Oh, I just realized I was muted and talking this whole time. Womp womp. Oh, good. Womp womp. I was telling the frog, no orgy, only bathing. Frog. <laughs> 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 I don't want to fuck a frog today. Maybe tomorrow. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> The two make their way up to the prepared bedroom and begin settling in. It's quiet inside the inn. Clouds have gathered outside, casting this small space in a dull gray light. Finally, they can rest. The daughter is helping her mother sort the items they gathered today. She wants to help by carrying a few of them in her own little bag, but isn't sure which items to choose. My friends, listen carefully. You must view your inventory and choose one item the daughter will carry for mother. I will call on three of you to tell me three items, one each, the daughter will choose. How about... Omelette du fromage, may I call on you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, a a good luck charm? Omelette du fromage, what is one <laughs> item the daughter will carry for mother? A good luck charm? Uh, il faut que tu choisisses quelque chose dans l'inventaire en fait. Quand tu, euh, quand tu fais tab, tu vois l'inventaire ouais. des objets que tu as récupérés et vois. tu il, il, donnes il, il, le nom d'un des objets. Good luck charm. Good luck charm. That's an item. That's an item, yeah. The good luck, good luck charm. I see. A lucky choice, to be sure. Now for the second item. Lai. L-A-I. May I call on you? Um, the rat's comfy scarf. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, the rat's comfy yeah, scarf. Sure. There's different items Make everyone gets, so it's all over. Sure. Some people want to have the same items. Well done. <laughs> now for the third item. Let's see. Oshi, may I call on you? Um, heart medicine? Yes. Oui, oui. The heart medicine. Ah, yes. It seems identical to the one the father gave the mother one year ago. A wonderful choice. Very well. The story continues. The mother sits on the bed, leaning against the window frame. She's tired of running, tired of hiding. But she cannot stop. Not yet. She looks through the window at the town as the evening sun sinks behind gray clouds. The whole place is painted in a soft pink light. The daughter jumps up on the bed, cuddles up to her mother, and holds tightly onto her bunny doll. Are we going to stay here? She asks. I want to go home. The mother brushes her daughter's hair to the side. Not for long. We're going somewhere else tomorrow. Somewhere safe. Is that where daddy went? The daughter looks up at her mother, 
hopeful. I think so. You need to sleep so you can walk with me tomorrow. You need to sleep too, Mama. The little girl nudges her and places a hand over her mother's heart. She can feel it beating steadily. Daddy said, I need to protect Mama. The mother smiles. You already are, my angel. Daddy says, you're a good luck charm, as though you have friends watching over you. Friends watching over me and Bunny? The little girl looks up at the ceiling and all around the room, but nobody's there. The mother laughs. squeezes her bunny doll and goes silent. She thinks deeply for a moment. Mama, will my friends watch over your heart too? The mother puts an arm around her daughter and pulls her in. The answer comes only as a whisper between them, a fragile breath. I hope so. I hope so. The daughter nods. She falls asleep within minutes, and the mother wipes tears from her own eyes. She looks back out the window. Night has come. My friends, mother will keep watch while we all sleep, for what is good never lasts. Please, Use the nightmare save point to follow the daughter into her dreams once more. Uh oh, oh shit. Shit, here we go again. Oh, eh? Hello. Welcome in to the darkness. <laughs> again. Be careful Let's and don't fall. Don't mind. Yay! Attention, NPCs. At this time, come forward and stand next to me. Now, change into your dream eater avatars and show them to the group. <laughs> Is that your dream eater? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is a Billion's <laughs> gonna eat my dreams? Holy fuck. That's the scariest hey, nice possible you all. avatar you could have chosen. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> we had Roy and Wally Luigi last time. No, we'll yep, we had Luigi and Wally Luigi last time. That was funny. Immortal. Very spooky. Oh. Oh. Now then. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Do Visible. not depart yet. Wait here. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Much better. Oh. Once more, the unknown figure becomes aware. The air is colder, but their vision feels somehow sharper. This place is a little brighter than the last. The last place. The last. Yes, they are here for a reason. The figure thinks in silence. What am I searching for? Why can't I remember who I am? Glancing back over their shoulder, they see only swirling shadow, and it evokes a sense of unholy dread. Something is following. My friends, this is your next quest. Listen carefully. This time, there are no monsters to avoid, but instead, a pair of dream eaters block the exit. You must find the path that gives you hope, and then gather around the dream eaters at the end. Together as a group, you must answer their spoken trial. 
Fast off, please translate. Pour traverser ce rêve, il va falloir qu'on trouve le chemin à travers euh, ce qui pourrait nous donner de l'espoir. Les mangeurs de rêves euh, bloqueront uniquement la sortie et euh, ne nous gênons pas pendant, pendant le, la, la, le, dans le labyrinthe. Une fois qu'on aura, qu'on se sera tous rassemblés devant Mais les mangeurs de rêves, il faudra répondre. Une fois qu'on sera tous rassemblés autour des mangeurs de rêve, il faudra répondre à leur énigme pour pouvoir euh, quitter le rêve. Travelers, through the dark, she dreams for you. Euh, I must be them, I must dream of you. Ouais. Oh, we got our first visitor. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got our second visitor. So on this menu. So who wants some crackheads? <laughs> what? Oh god. The dream eaters are cracked all good high. They fell. Fell <laughs> again. It's okay, because you just respawn back at the same point. <laughs> oh good. You can ask first. Mm -hmm. But will the riddle be I got a punch? Wait for them all to arrive, please. The mall. Shut up, mall. Travelers, please show the same respect you showed me to our NPCs as they give you their spoken trial. You may begin. All right. Our spoken trial is a riddle. And this riddle is Johnny's mother had three children. The first child was named April. The second child was named May. What was the third child's name? L'énigme est La mère de Johnny a trois enfants. Le premier enfant s'appelle Avril. Le deuxième enfant s'appelle May. Comment s'appelle le troisième enfant This is a trick question. Mais non, pourquoi il prend un piège C'est Johnny. Oh, Preston. Je pense qu'on passe pas la fin. Ouais, passe un peu pas, c'est des dream catchers. Le dernier enfant. Had three children. Their names are April, May, and June. Ah bah non, 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 c'est 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 elle, c'est c'est elle. Hein 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 Genre il a un enfant avec sa sœur. Ah non, 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 Does everyone have their answers ready? No. Uh, no. No. Mais genre c'est nous parce qu'il a trois enfants donc. It's Pikachu. La mère de Johnny a trois enfants. Le premier s'appelle Avril, le deuxième s'appelle May. Comment s'appelle le troisième Ah bah c'est bon, je l'ai, c'est bon, je l'ai, c'est bon, oui. C'est Johnny. Bah oui, mais c'est ce que j'ai trois fois, donc genre, mais t'es plus ça, faut qu'on que ça sort. J'ai dit que c'était nous. Mais t'es plus ça, Justin, bah voilà. Allez, I'm gonna call on any ex. Yeah, it's Johnny. Yes, it is Johnny. Curse you, Johnny Fiskin. 
<rire> pas compris pourquoi, mais... <rire> Parce que c'est nous, Johnny. Enfin, c'est, c'est la, la personne à question, c'est nous. C'est la merde, Johnny. C'est sa mère. Ah, ce que j'ai dit, ouais, ah, pour ah, je... <rire> 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 oh. <rire> que Do any of us have free will? Such an answer is only known by the gods. And thus the story continues. <clears throat> the unknown figure passes between the strange nightmare manifestations. And quickly they vanish. In their place lies a jewel or what appears to be some sort of stone, some collection of ether, some manifestation of thoughts, a remnant, an artifact, something that's been at the bottom of the ocean for a thousand years, something hidden and impossible, a mermaid's tear. The figure continues. They enter a new space, and comes the scent of dust and rust. They look ahead, peering into shadows that feel distant, and a shape begins to take form. It is colossal. It hangs in an abyss, majestic and imposing, as the person perceives more and more of it. Its wings cut through the darkness like great blades of night. And there it waits, motionless, expectant. My friends, it is time to wake up from this nightmare. <laughs> this way. What? <laughs> Do you want me to wash your feet, Ben? Make your boots on. Never say that again. <laughs> Damn. <I'm just> <laughs> If I had feet, I'd ask you to wash them. It'd be quite nice. My friends, the story continues. The girl is jolted awake by a loud crash that shakes the room. A vase topples from the table and smashes on the floor. We have to go. Get dressed. We have to go now. The girl tries to explain to her mother about her nightmare, about how she knows what the person is searching for. The room shakes again, cracking the window this time. She stops mid-sentence when she looks through the broken glass. Its image distorted, fragmented. It hangs in the night sky. It is here. The monster is here. It's following us. The little girl shrieks before tumbling from the bed and pushing herself up against the back wall of the room. There are sounds of a firefight. Don't look at it. The mother comes to grab her. It's going to be okay. Mama will protect you. But we have to leave now. The world comes down around them. Everyone, this way. Oh, shit. 
me. Shit. Shit. This again. <laughs> it's blood. You made it towards the end. This is oh, what no. happens when you don't this throw. Your, this is what happens when you don't throw your joint in the ashtray. This is what happens when you throw it in the trash can. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, the fuck, I did it! 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 Fuck, I did What? Nice. 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 The mother makes her way to the town exit, opposite the firefight. In the street, the mother spots a motorcycle lying on its side, still running. She goes to lift it upright. Halt! A large soldier appears, armed with a gun blade. The town of Shade is now under martial law by order of the Grey. All civilians are to report for ether scanning. Come with me. The daughter holds her mother's hand tight. She states there are always scanned to have no potential. The mother slowly backs away. I said halt! The soldier orders. He then presses a button on the visor. The mother sees this and pushes her daughter to run and hide behind a wooden crate. With a racing heart, the mother now stands defiantly between her daughter and the towering soldier. His eyes go wide as he reads his visor display. What's this? You haven't been scanned. You both are coming with me. With his eyes on the sky, the soldier reaches for his comms, preparing to notify command of his discovery. The mother must think fast, and so begins your next quest. Travelers, you have 30 seconds to decide as a group which of the three options to choose from. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. Your time to discuss begins now. Oh, no, mother, 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 Okay, one, two, three, three. Okay, John, John, take four, four, four. Okay, we, we, want, we want to mother instinct. We, we want to mother instinct. Okay, one, two, three, five, four, four five, three. Okay, well, two, when mother one, I'm sorry. <laughs> For me, there is money people. Mother. Just one Sorry. chat. Just one yes. chat. May I call on you? No. Just okay. one chat. <laughs> okay. M mother instinct is the only way to get to it. Mother instinct. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. Which is your choice? Mother's instinct. You mother. say mother's instinct. Yeah, mother. mother's instinct. Yeah, please. <laughs> Good. The mother dashes to grab the soldier's comm device before he speaks. He notices and catches her by the wrist. With his other arm, he makes a tight fist and hooks her hard in the face, fracturing her jaw. The soldier has taken no significant damage this round. Round two. The mother was knocked to the ground, but the girl gets up. The soldier shoulders his gun blade, aiming at her heart. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. 30 seconds. Defend. defend. Oh shit! Yeah, we can defend, 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 defend. Yeah, the art monitor. Yeah, the art monitor. Defend, I guess. Defend. We have to defend at this defend, point. Defend, 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 defend. Defend, defend. Attack. 
He would he never expect you to attack here. Yeah, yeah, but 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 yes. have your house monitor so we can re uh, re he distract. Bust. So that that's kind of good. Because he he's aiming for the house. house. Five, four, three, defend. two, one. Defend, 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 defend. Fuck. Yeah, defend. Garbot, three, one, three. May I call on you? What will the mother do? Hmm. She so. Yeah, I am for the help. I try to, I should try to dodge uh, the the hit. Defend. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. Defend. You must choose. Defend, one. defend. <laughs> defend. <laughs> Processing. Defend. Uh, Processing. De defend. <laughs> No, second. <laughs> the mother reaches for a lid of a nearby crate to shield herself just in time. The bullet passes through, landing in her leg, but she doesn't notice. While the soldier struggles to adjust his aim, she throws the heavy lid, striking him hard in the face. He staggers, but does not fall. Furious now, the soldier spits out a tooth and moves in close. The soldier has taken significant damage this round. Well done, Garbus. Yay! Whoa! Yay, Garbus! The soldier raises the gun blade high, preparing for a downward strike. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct. 30 seconds. Mm. Uh, uh, well, attack. Attack. attack! 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 Fire! Shoot the laser! <laughs> we can oh attack there. Yeah. Just stop. Attack! Well, the story. I am always yeah. on murdering speed <laughs> myself. It's the only place. Oh no! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nuclear missile? What? That's what we're here to do. Bah ouais, ils disent quand le monde est... Comme dans Donjons et Dragons, à grande distance. Ouais, the mother gonna get... 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 Praise... La Biscuit, may I call on you? What will the mother do? Yeah. <laughs> Apologies, I did not hear. Are you typing? Yeah, he's typing. He's typing. Attack, 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 attack. Attack, attack, fire, shoot the laser. It so seems I'm un unable to see your speech bubble. Did you say attack? He said attack. Yeah. Very well. Or they said attack. The mother spins quick to his side, dodging the strike while bringing up her leg around for a hard kick to his lowered head. He drops the gun blade to block the hit throwing her off balance. The angry soldier grabs her left arm and twists it into a lock. She manages to unclip an incendiary grenade from his belt. But then he brings his elbow down hard, breaking her arm at the wrist. The soldier has taken no significant damage this round. Witnessing all of this, the daughter screams for her mother. Now positioned between them, the soldier grabs the little girl and growls for the mother to drop the grenade or she dies. Oh. The daughter shouts, Leave us alone! Just as a blue aura erupts around her. Attack, defend, or mother's instinct, 30 seconds. Mother's 
Mother instinct, yeah. Mother instinct, yes. Mother instinct, yes. Mother instinct, yes. Mother instinct, yes. Totally, totally. Oh, there you are. You're up, you're up there. You're up there. Yeah, I fell. Yeah, mother. Yeah, yeah. Mother. <laughs> Can I be the... the Did you just turn to fat Albert for a second? The fuck? <laughs> huh? What? Five, what now? four, three, two, one. In EX, may I call on you? The third, the modern thing. Understood. The mother meets her daughter's eyes and shouts, Save us! The girl drops her bunny doll and closes her eyes. The aura around her explodes into a torrent of blue flames. The soldier tries to block, but the pure ether rips into him, sending him flying through a wall. <coughs> Severely injured, but still alive, the soldier gets up. Immediately, he runs to his mech, climbing up into the open cockpit. Just before the door closes, the mother throws the incendiary grenade inside. The ground shakes, but not because of the grenade going off. No. A shadow sweeps across everything. The dark monument now hovers over the town gates. Drops of bolts of bla blazing fire in every direction. The mother grunts in pain as she lifts the bullet-riddled motorcycle into an upright position. She calls to her daughter to get on, but the girl stands, unmoving, staring at the monster in the sky. Quickly, she pulls her daughter up with her. The adrenaline is masking the pain, for now. We're going to be okay, she tells her daughter. I promise. We have to, she thinks to herself. Together. They speed away from the inferno that was the town of Shade. My friends, this way. Qui qui passe la tondeuse à l'heure là <rire> Je pense que c'est la même. Et vraiment. Et c'est la moto. The story continues. They ride for hours. The trail is empty. The sound of the wind and the rumble of the engine slowly fade out in the mother's mind. All she can hear are her own thoughts alongside the painful thumps in her chest. The daughter holds on silently, eyes staring vacantly into the darkening sky. Angel, I'm so sorry. We're almost there. We will be at a safe place soon, the mother says. The daughter does not respond. My friends, this way. Attention, chien méchant, Attention. méchant rentré. Attention. Wild dog, do not enter. Je sais pas lire. Does anyone want to do the old Ragnarok's edition? I always come back. 
<laughs> then you'll be perfect for it, but you don't have the right now again. So you, know. you can get rid of me. <laughs> the story <laughs> continues. <laughs> the sky is dark. The outpost looms ahead. Various points of light are moving about. The mother left the motorcycle on the road. It ran out of fuel a while ago. She leads her daughter by the hand, struggling to breathe as they walk. Finally, they're somewhere safe. Finally, they can take a rest. Wait, something isn't right. This is meant to be a waypoint for smugglers. Why are there soldiers everywhere? Gray soldiers. The mother breaks down. She lets go of her daughter's hand and drops to her knees. This is hopeless, she thinks. They can't escape. What is she even doing? The information from Shade wasn't correct. And it hurts. Everything hurts. The pain is unbearable. Mama? The daughter's voice is tiny and feeble. Mama, are you okay? The mother looks at her daughter. You should sleep, Mama. I'll sleep too. And we can go to the dream world together. I thought there were monsters there, but I know who it actually is. It's safe there, Mama. Let's go to sleep. Let's forget this place. The mother listens to her daughter's words and begins to cry. She can't die here, no. And her poor child is already succumbing to the trauma. Her angel is losing. No, no, she has to be stronger. She has to make her own hope. The mother stands back up, takes back her daughter's hand. There has to be a way through here. My friends, this way. <laughs> It'll be fun, probably. Three enemy, four enemy, five enemy, six enemy, seven enemy, eight enemy, nine enemy, ten enemy, eleven enemy. I can count to two higher. In the front. They sneak through the building carefully. They sneak through the building carefully, avoiding the patrols. They stop and remain silent as two soldiers approach one another. The soldiers meet each other, and the mother listens carefully. A, I'm sure you've heard, but Shade has been wiped from the map. Nothing left but ashes. He doesn't feel real, one soldier says with a worried tone. I'm not surprised. The Dark Monument is in the region, and Shade was a known supply point for the Ethos. But what if it comes here? They say it just destroys everything that's not a part of this unit. Unlikely. That machine they excavated is here. It's scheduled for transport to District Zero. They would not destroy something this important. You mean that creepy mech nobody is allowed to go near? Yeah. Rumor has it there's an ether amplifier on board. The scanners can't make sense of it. That's impossible. I thought you can only fit those things on bigger warships. Don't you need to grow them or something crazy like that? Well, whatever. I heard they can't get to work. It fries any equipment we attach to it. Hey, do you want
want to go see it before it ships out? Nobody is watching it now. No way. That thing gives me the creeps. The soldiers part ways to continue their patrols. <laughs> Story continues. Sarah stands alone. The mysterious smack. Wasting time, the mother motions for her daughter to climb inside with her, but the girl refuses. The mother looks up and sees a guard in the distance, slowly patrolling closer. She kneels down to her eye level and whispers in frustration that they need to fly to where daddy is. The daughter backs away. She speaks with a quivering voice. to go now no it's the pilot in your dream mama we need to wait for the pilot the daughter says louder as she backs away again angel please they are going to see us i am the pilot and we are going to fly this to where daddy went this in now please we'll be safe if we go to sleep mama the daughter says louder starting to cry Stop, Angel. Please calm down. She pleads with her right arm outstretched. I don't want to go in there again, Mama. The child shrieks. It's too late. A soldier on the wall shouts and triggers the intruder alarm. Sirens start blaring, and the daughter panics, running into her mother's arms. Blinding spotlights quickly discover their whereabouts, illuminating the mother and daughter, holding one another under ghostly white light. The pilot will save us, the pilot will save us, the pilot will save us, she says over and over, before fainting in her mother's arms. The sirens continue to blare, and the soldiers are making their way down the wall. The mother looks at her daughter's unconscious face, and then over to the neck. I'm scared. You must make your choice. No. 
Daughter or with the mother? Who's in there? Hmm, I thought you were in there. Okay, not the one to choose. Don't we need Trajan for this? Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the mother. Okay. You have 10 yeah, seconds that's... to choose. Again, if you want to stay awake with mother, Stand next to the mech. If you want to follow the daughter into the darkest nightmare, stand next to the boxes. I think we are left then. Too young, not to have to pick. Yeah, but it's a little crazy. Let's go here quickly. Yeah, there are more people. <laughs> Three to five times. I may request translation by fast off at this time. Fast off, please come hither. Yes. Kindly explain to the group the following. Normally, we have two tour guides that will enact the next part. Those that followed one tour guide will go stay awake with mother. Those that followed the other will follow the daughter into the nightmare. But today, due to only one tour guide being present, we will go with the majority vote. Alors, normalement, il y aurait devrait avoir deux guides pour pouvoir faire pour séparer les groupes en deux et faire chacun des chemins, mais euh, vu que je suis tout seul ce soir, euh, on va juste euh, prendre le chemin de la majorité. Eh ben on a une fois qu'on sait, on a voté. Okay. Donc. Ok. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> La majorité, finalement, non Je pense que c'est plus que nous sommes morts. Mes amis, il semble que la majorité du vote est sur le côté de la nuit. Est-ce que c'est correct Oui, oui, oui. Oui. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on to the nightmare. Just a moment, please, while I prepare. Please give me less than one minute. Okay. Let's be careful, Edward. That's the point. Yay! Nightmare. 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 Nightmare.
un peu moins ça à quand euh, normalement c'est la c'est la J'avoue que ça a dû se have chosen to follow the daughter into the darkest nightmare. Please use the blue save point. Oh, oh les bâtards. Oh, ça a été GBT. I love this music. Oh, I love this music. What is this the floor? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. The unknown figure jolts awake with awareness, as if they fell from a pie. The undulating void around them is giving off voices. The figure listens closely. A slow and faint heartbeat echoes between the scrambled words. They can't make sense of it, but it feels somehow meaningful or important. That's her, no, my. The words come as but silent thoughts to the figure. Confused, they pursue the voices. Je suis le pilote. <laughs> A monumental tree stands tall in the void. There is a warm air of absolute around it. Something unfathomable. Something unifying the voices of the dark. The heartbeat is coming from this tree. Without a voice, the figure's thoughts burn in the dark. This is mine. This was made for me. It was always made for me. But where are the wings? Suddenly, the air goes cold. The void quakes and bubbles up with tar. It drips down the tree as an image slowly emerges, reflecting off the black substance. A blood moon. Through every dream, every story, every secret and whisper, I will hunt you, and I will take back what is mine. I will devour your soul while your friends watch. Face me, travelers, and fight for your pilot's soul. What the? What the fuck is that? What the fuck? What is that thing? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? That looks like my wife's Travelers, your attention, please. The following happens. The heart medicine. A new agent is joining your team. 
manifest into a new item within the nightmare and becomes a sturdy silver shield, surely able to glance aside lethal blows. A good luck charm becomes a glistening ruby knife exuding enough ether to magically attack. And the third item becomes a bayonet, a melee weapon somehow familiar to the figure. Suddenly, a tremendous sound erupts from nearby, shredding the very air into pieces. From out of the nightmarish abyss, a shadow of tremendous size creeps like a spider. It pulls its heavy carapace, burdened with great spines of colorless crystal. Its face is not but a maw with three jaws and a single gleaming eye inside its gullet. Crowning its mouth, is a heart shimmering with all the colors held hostage by the monster. My friends, the dream devourer rears back, its spines bristling, its carapace crunching together, and with a sudden burst of force, spines are launched outward like shrapnel. What will the figure do? Due to the items you chose, you may attack, defend, or either attack. You have ten seconds to choose. May I call on you? Dumas. 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 Attack. Defend. Or either attack. What is your answer? Attack. Either attack. Or defend. They show. They start attack. The 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 third is the which is the. Attack, I see. The figure readies their bayonet and rushes at the dream devourer. The needles are faster than the figure, and they are impaled by projectiles. The figure takes one damage. Round two begins. One damage? We need to either, we need to either attack. Wow. This is so... We need it to defend. We should the dream devourer rears back and no, begins to rumble. No. It shudders and its energy visibly emanates from its massive form, distorting the air around it. It's aiming at the figure. Attack, defend, or ether attack. Ten seconds. Defend. 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 Lurker, what will the figure do? Defend. The figure brings up the silver shield as the dream devourer charges its attack and for a few moments nothing happens the dream devourer opens its mouth and a sound comes from it the air ripples green and a metaphysical wave of mimetic energy comes tearing toward the figure attack defend or either attack 10 seconds <laughs> Defend, defend, defend. Defend again. Yeah. Ether defend. attack. Ether attack. Ether attack. It's time. No, we are attacking. Ether attack. Ether attack. It's time. Ether attack. I think they should have attacked last turn. Thank you.
I think that was that definitely was from the game. game. Time has expired. What? Prezi 5, may I call on you? Yes, I think we should Easter attack. Oh. The figure draws the ruby dagger and launches an ether attack. But the wave of the mimetic energy hits the figure, and they can only feel a moment of something strange happening in their mind before they are instantly killed. He did it! Yeah. Is he good? We died. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. We I, died? I He's you. still no, here. No. The figure huh? looks down at the bunny doll <laughs> in their grip, but it's too late. Losing definition. Their body spilling apart into the smoke. The figure's last thoughts burn cold in the dark. This isn't how the legend ends. I was so close. I have to find it. I have to become the... All that's left is the sound of a slow, muffled heartbeat, gently fading to silence. It's time to wake up from this nightmare. My friends, this way. I'll be right back, Matt. Enjoy. Well, let's try that fondue cook over. on their choices, we would now be heading toward the neutral ending of the tour. But because this tour is a special event, we have locked in the good ending, or rather we are forcing the good ending. Yeah. You could please translate yeah. that point. Normally, the actions that have been entrepreneurs during the l'histoire nous auraient emmené sur le chemin du de la fin neutre. Mais comme la fin était déterminée à l'avance, on va forcer la fin, la bonne fin. Donc euh, on continue quand même l'histoire. Easy. On a perdu. Ok. Non, c'est pas friends, welcome back. The grand finale awaits. Ok.
phone call. Why are you asking me to do that? God damn it. I feel like those are Neon Genesis. Kind of, yeah. Neon Genesis Something robots. Like... I mean, like Neon. The mother. Oh, yeah, Neon Joe basically pajamas. Yeah. Or Evangelion has protected yeah. us. The mother has protected us while we slept. And she has faced the Grey Army, defeating them one after the other. The mother prepares to face the next wave when, out of nowhere, a fiery red beam strikes down from the clouds. She narrowly dodges it as the surrounding area is annihilated. She looks up through the smoke to witness the ab abominable airship finally show itself. Not Ooh. even in this powerful mech would she stand a chance, the mother thinks. It will shoot her down if she runs, and the soldiers block her path to attack. What does she do? Is this the end? Suddenly... An alarm goes off in the cockpit. Warning. Phase space logic rewrite detected. Class 7 anomaly approaching at extreme speed. What now? The mother questions. Another ship? Not the Dark Monument? This ether reading is impossible. The mother turns to check on her daughter. Safe. Asleep. What's happening? She has no time to think as she is in, again engaged by the advancing gray army. My friends, before the sun rises, let's join the daughter in a new dream. And welcome. Welcome. To the afterlife. The Twilight Zone? The Twilight Zone? Oh no, we are dead. Oops. Back. We're not dead. Uh, I need you to hold me, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> the figure feels the ground rise to their feet. Their senses come together, one by one, aware once again. A warm light greets their eyes. The shine splits the darkness. The figure steps into it, and the cold void quietly falls away. My friends, let's follow the figure into the light. Okay. This way. I remember this door. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were around when it was made, huh, Grandpa? <laughs> I, was a, I was a little boy when this made was made. I made that I made that drawing actually. This whole time. <laughs> Plot twist, anyone? <laughs> the story continues. An otherworldly tree sits bathed under sacred white light. The figure's mind struggles to understand the infomorphic structure perceiving it as a gate. Waiting patiently nearby is the familiar, shimmering heart, its colors friendly, innocent, wholesome. No way. The gate opens, and the heart Wait, what? flutters through. The figure follows. See you 
Oh, shoot, Gretchen. How do they get down here? I'm confused. Ooh, Ooh pretty. Opened. Ooh. Not so pretty. Oh, y'a y a des trucs, y'a des trucs, y'a des trucs. Ah non, c'est vos jouets. <rire> c'était des pseudos, en fait, j'ai peur des pseudos. <rire> This place, the figure thinks, while placing their hand on a metallic wall. They move quickly to explore without finishing the thought. This way, travelers. Whoa. I don't know how I got here. En fait, comme on était là-bas, t'as à droite, j'ai vu des trucs blancs, mais en fait, c'était des pseudos euh, au loin. Ah, il doit faire. Basement. Another dream. <laughs> That's not creepy. Your basement. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> if we're in your basement, I'm scared. <laughs> oh, I'm dying! <laughs> Over here is my uh, secret laboratory. <laughs> okay. Your secret laboratory. Yes, this time of year, cube. this time of day. Yes. <laughs> yes, of course. I have a cube. I mean, I have a laboratory entirely within this facility. Basically, your duck says. I mean, I made him. Yes. Oh. I'm Dexter. Don't you recognize me? <laughs> Here we are. We're at the laboratory. That's <laughs> <laughs> Just follow the damn train, CJ! <laughs> follow the damn train. It's like a really old slow train. The story continues. The figure enters the heart of this space. A powerful engine sleeps before them. I've been here. I've seen this room alive. Their eyes focus on a slot at the center of the console. Still carrying the ether crystal, they hold it up, looking into it. For the first time, the figure sees their own reflection. It's the good thing to do, she says, and places the orange crystal into the engine. Oh. Her heart beats once, she remembers. Her heart beats once, the engine ignites. <coughs> her heart beats once. She notices her flight suit. Her heart beats once. She remembers the legend. <coughs> once upon a time, there was an invincible vessel. From the depths, it rises. Over the oceans, it shines. Through the skies, it will soar. Manifesting through 10,000 stories, the legendary ship comes true, and the pilot dashes to the bridge. This way. Oh, it's right now. The building's on fire, bro! Bro! Oh. Hey, what? The building's on fire! Bro! No, not again! Oh, they why did you burn your house?
We're in a box. Wurmpa, did you take your medication oh. for dementia? Oh, Holy no. Holy Everyone, battle stations! I'm the real crap. <laughs> <laughs> Left leg, power on! <laughs> I got the giant cannon. No one can have it. No one can have it. <laughs> travelers, gather around where you can hear. Over here, travelers. Gather around where you can hear. We have fuse into one beer. Magnetic sensors are set off as the travelers enter the bridge. Huh? Someone on my ship. Anomalies on the bridge. Where? I don't see anyone. The sensors say, all around me. Oh, it's the travelers. It's you, isn't it? Okay, let's see. If I increase the amp range of the ether crystal. Okay, okay. Hello, travelers. Can you hear me? Yes! 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 I can hear you. Yes, so many of you. You really were with me, watching over this whole time. I knew you were real. Thank you all so much. I am the pilot, and welcome to my legendary ship. Okay, travelers, it's about time I got a crew, so listen up. There's a brave little girl out there who needs us. A real nasty thing known as the Dark Monument is making a mess of her world. I made a promise as a pilot that I can't let things like that fly. And I think all of you travelers did too. So how about it? Will you be my crew for the legendary ship? Yay. Of course. Yay. Huzzah! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right then. Mm -hmm. All right, crew. We're going to blast that monster out of the sky. To your battle stations, fasten your seatbelts, and prepare for takeoff. It's time to save the day. Eh. I'm gonna die. Oh shit. Let's save the day. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to destroy an island. Whoa. Die? Where are the pedo tubes? Torpedoes, we're on a ship, not underwater. Pedo tubes. Ships have torpedoes. You can hear. This way, travelers. Gather around where you can hear. The legendary ship flies high and true, closing in on the outpost. And a thunderous flyby, the pilot fires on the Grey Army. Accepting the challenge, the dark ship of terror rises from the clouds and gives chase. And thus, travelers, your final battle, airship versus airship, begins. The pilot shouts out to the travelers. Everyone, are you ready? Are you ready, kids? <laughs> Blow that piece of junk out of the sky! <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. Oh. The dark monument banks up close, starboard side. The pilot has 30 seconds to choose. Fire torpedo. Fire ether cannon. Evasive maneuvers. Charge up the ether amplifier. Heavy artillery or overdrive shift. What will the pilot do? You have 30 seconds. Artillery. Yeah, it is. It's right in there. Shoot, shoot with everything. Torpedo? Yeah, uh, this is perfect. Fire, fire, fire ether, ether cannon. Evasive maneuvers. Charge the ether amplifier. Heavy artillery no. or overdrive here. shift. Outside. Is this one I don't actually mean. This is 
for outside. Yeah, charge either on the fire. Is broadside an option? Yeah, but what? Up. Well, it's a uh, another word for one of them. I see things all day. What is that? Hey, Yoshi, may I call on you? Did you try to call? Uh, charge up. Way. You may choose no. fire torpedo, fire ether cannon, evasive maneuvers, charge the ether amplifier, heavy artillery, or overdrive shift. Charge uh, the thingy. Charge the thingy. Thingy. Charge the ether amplifier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, charge exactly. Charge the ether amplifier. Do the thingy. Charge the ether amplifier. Very well. The pilot prepares to charge the ether amplifier. But before she can act, the dark monument opens fire with its heavy guns. Ah. No. No. <laughs> uh, uh. That's not good. Jesus! We're taking heavy fire. Hey, <laughs> it's okay. We stop your thing. Scotty, shields up. No, it's not We're only there. flying hammers. No, the legendary ship takes heavy off. damage. Oh no, you killed Wawashi! <laughs> Whoa! Yeah, go back! I said no, we took that one. Oh no, he's coming! Travelers, this way! Et putain, j'arrive à pas tomber avec le drift que je me tape et lui il tombe. Comment vous montez Il faut aller vite. The dark monument moves toward the stern, trailing behind the legendary ship. The pilot has 30 seconds to act. Fire torpedo, <laughs> cannon, evasive maneuvers. Charge the amplifier, heavy artillery, or overdrive shift. Mercy Christmas, what will the pilot do? Fire! Faut esquiver la merci. Faut esquiver, faut esquiver. Faut esquiver. Fire torpedo. Fire ether cannon. Evasive maneuvers. Charge the ether amplifier, heavy artillery, or overdrive shift. Yes, totally. Evasive maneuvers. Evasive maneuvers. Yes. <laughs> the pilot prepares to perform evasive maneuvers, but before she can act, the dark monument rams the legendary ship hard. Oh, oh shit! Oh. Oh man, we're on fire! Oh no! This way! Quoi? Ils ont tué du masque! Oh. Oh, oh, Ils ont eu du masque, mais ils sont tués! Ils ont eu des espèces salauds! <rire> Oula! Je suis trop de pire! Ah, comment, 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 comment? Moi, je me mets de ce sens-là. Je vais leur tirer quand même au moins. Ouais, il faut attaquer là. Oh, oh. again. It's below us. Bye bye. The dark oh, monument me. dives below the clouds, out of sight. What will the pilot do? Charge up. Run. Charge. I'm sorry, we would have. I believe, uh, believe there's pretty much John one choice we have yeah, you know? in this one part. <laughs> Can't see the enemy. It's already charmed. We need to charge up. Already charging, actually. Charge up. Yoshino. 18, may I call on you? Hmm? 
Fire a torpedo. Fire ether cannon. Evasive maneuvers. Charge to ether amplifier. Heavy artillery on overdrive shift. Yoshino's trying to tell you they want to charge the ether. The ether amplifier, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. It, 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 we it, charge it, already, it, yeah. But, but no, yeah, it's a charge. It. Oh, shit. No, we didn't charge. We didn't charge. We didn't mix oh, it. Okay. Gotta go, metal man. It failed. Oh. Oh. Bye. It seems I am unable to see text for some reason. My apologies. What was your answer? Charge. Charge, charge the amplifier. The amplifier. Yeah. Okay. We're dead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. We're not dead. The pilot. Prepares to charge the ether amplifier, but before she can act, the legendary ship is bombarded with bolts of plasma fire from below. No. You had to jinx it. Bah. Oh my god. You should know it. It's your fault. Oh no, it's going through Sheen. A legendary oh, ship I... takes heavy damage, and Sheen gets a really bad sunburn. <laughs> Dusty! <laughs> gets a really bad sunburn. The dark monument goes silent, showing no change in flight path and no activity. What will the pilot do? Launch the ether cannon! Yeah, just fire this up. Yeah, she's trying to fire. Je vois les gens nus à travers le truc là, c'est trop bizarre. Metal. Metal. Did you hear what kind of sunburn? Did he just say sunburn or did he do some sort of descriptor for that? I'm trying to type this in code. Hmm? Fire is a cannon. He's writing. Sorry. Fire the ether cannon. Understood. Okay. The pilot prepares to fire the ether cannon. But before she can act, her mind is hit with a mimetic attack, knocking her away from the wheel. She recovers and takes back the helm. Suddenly, the pilot calls out to the travelers. Hello? Travelers, listen. I need your help. The sensors are picking up troops mobilizing inside the dark monument. They're going to try to board us. I can divert power to the ether crystal's field effect for 60 seconds. I won't be able to move the ship, but it should be enough time for you to interact with this world and fight. Be brave, travelers. I believe in you. Oh, oh. We're getting boarded, people. When you f when you find them, just keep on clicking them, and that's when oh, how you I'm fight, fight them. Ones. Just keep on clicking them. If you go down here, there's an arrow to get back up. And you click the arrow back here. Shit, I'm lost. Oh, there's more over here. Mm -hmm. I'm lost. Ah. Hey. What is that thing? Is that? <laughs> That's 
Got all of them? <laughs> you okay? No, literally, I'm not. <laughs> uh, me coughing is not me acting. Okay. I need an oil. Yeah, it's clear. Yes. <laughs> what the hell? Well done, travelers. You have successfully protected the legendary ship. This way, travelers. The dark monument soars overhead, now port side of the legendary ship. What will the pilot do? Attack. We need to attack. Launch the torpedoes! Torpedoes, yes! Or the ether. Torpedoes! <laughs> torpedoes! Send them to hell! Not every answer I in the dream. <laughs> Angelic, may I call on you? Yeah, that's fine. What will the pilot do? Attack! <laughs> oh, he's up there. Your options are fire torpedo, fire ether cannon, evasive maneuvers, charge the ether amplifier, overdrive shift. Uh, torpedoes. Fire a torpedo. Very well. Taking the initiative, the pilot fires a homing torpedo. Oh, oh. oh there it is! There's the torpedo! Oh! oh. <laughs> PNG! 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 Poor PNG! Well done, well done! <laughs> Being up the blind. <coughs> the dark monument okay. takes heavy damage. Uh. <coughs> oh, oh, no. 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 Oh, 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 Ooh, that's a nice behind. <laughs> the dark <laughs> monument suddenly falls behind before rocketing past the bow, nearly colliding with the legendary ship. The pilot has the following options to choose from. Fire ether cannon. Fire torpedo. Evasive maneuvers. Charge the ether amplifier. Heavy artillery. Or overdrive shift. What will the pilot do? Either cannon! Um, either cannon! 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 Either cann
pas les trucs sur les côtés, les mer canon C'est un canon, hein. C'est un canon à éther. Il sait pas si pas les sur les côtés. Ruby, may I call on you? Ruby, what will the pilot do? Fire the what? I'm sorry. <laughs> artillery. Heavy artillery. Ah, fire the heavy artillery. Understood. Oh, yeah, yeah. The pilot tries to fire the heavy artillery. But the dark monument is out of range. The dark monument then fires twin what? missiles. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you, Mercy. Mercy. Gosh, there. You can help us, right? Legend ever died. Oh, fuck. What the f- Oh, no. Not again. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Where's Godzilla? We need it. The big scene. Do I say me? Oh, big trauma. Travelers, your attention, please. Listen carefully. The dark monuments. Mech fleet suddenly appears and surrounds the legendary ship. Soon, an enormous ether cannon emerges from below the dark ship's deck. Blocked on all sides, the pilot is unsure what to do. Travelers, you have one minute to answer the open question. Anything is valid. What will the pilot do? Um, wake up hiding in, in the cloud. Can we overdrive and just fly away? No. They can't Crash fly away, we're trying to run away. No? Self-destruct, self-destruct, self-destruct! Fight! Fight! Self-destruct! Pauvre everyone! Fight! You know, yeah. it's not the truck, it might just, it might just be us and not them. No! I don't, I don't know if that's that. I don't think that's Yeah, no. big boom! Just me! Self-destruct! We should, we should, we should crash into the other. Yeah, I'll crash! Yeah, crash on the other. Oh yeah, the tower of the tower! Causeway! This is the greatest plan! Yeah, yeah, crash on them and then boom! Yes! Yeah! Plant a bomb on their ship! They're, they're going with us! No one escaped! Can I? Can I no see what's in that moment? We can fill them in! Okay? Five, four, three, oh, three two, two, one. Uh -oh. um. Hadrim, may I call on you? Oh, are you sure? sure? <laughs> I am sure. <laughs> are you sure about that? Oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, okay. Hadrian, tell uh, me, uh, what yeah. will the pilot do? Entre tes mains. Crash into our enemy! <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> <laughs> hmm? We <laughs> 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 were writing our own history. <laughs> Dearest travelers, your answer is heard. Oh. But the encephalon will not allow deviation from current narrative observed walls.
and therefore a different future takes place. My friends, the pilot does not decide to crash into the dark monster. No. She decides to call mother. Down below in the ground, 30,000 feet on the ground. Make sure it's 30,000. The pilot radios a distress signal to mother. The signal connects. <laughs> Calling the mech pilot, fighting the Grey Army. This is a resistance ship engaged with the Dark Monument. Do you copy? I am surrounded by aerial units requesting your urgent support. I repeat, I am surrounded by the Dark Monument's aerial fleet. Please assist. There is no answer, but the pilot can hear nervous breathing. I repeat, this is... <laughs> this is the pilot of the legendary ship from the story your daughter dreams of. I know she is asleep in the back seat. I know you are afraid and that you only want to protect her. Listen, this sounds impossible, but your daughter has the power to manipulate probability, even reality. You know this is true. Her hope was strong enough to make her dream real, to create life and bring me into your world. I have her memories of the pilot she loves, memories of adventures she dreamed of, memories of other worlds you and Daddy read to her about. I have her memories of growing up with you, and she has called me here to save you. I've nearly defeated this monster, but now I need you to save me, Mama. There is only silence. Why should I help you? The sudden reveal of the mother's voice stuns the pilot, and she raises a hand to cover her mouth. The mother's voice is heard again. I don't know how you know about my daughter, or why you would say such things, but if what you say is true, why should I help you? Travelers, how will the pilot answer mother? It's the good thing. It's the right thing. Yeah, it's the right thing to do. Oh. No! Oh, oh yeah, because there's a story. Okay, no, it's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Fast off, I will call on you. Okay. Fast off. How will the pilot answer mother? Because it's a good thing to do. Spot on. The pilot answers. I'll always help people because, because it's the good thing to do. A moment passes and the pilot holds her breath as she watches the radio. The mother speaks. Angel? Angel? Oh, Mama's coming to save you. Seriously? Oh! Oh, sh there it is! <laughs> 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 
There she goes. Oh. It's his mother. Big Robo? I don't see anything. There's a battle. Dead robots going around. Sheesh. I do not see anything. Hmm. Uh -oh. I see a sprite moving. Very decent. <laughs> sprite moving. <laughs> <laughs> There she is! Yes! Yeah. Triple kill! Oh, baby, a triple! Okay. <laughs> now the ship. Oh! Yay! Yay! Big explosion! <laughs> Huzzah! Guys, it's not over yet! <laughs> oh, fire! Ah, me! Ah, I think the Jeopardy thing do 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 Yeah. Oh, there we go. I got oh, some voice come out. Oh. I'm gonna Goodbye. change my favorite line, Goku. I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> Everybody, there, cheese. Have a nice trip. My infamous line. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> by the way, by the way, by the way, I have been recording this entire time, so I have my point of view on this shit. I've been recording too since I joined. I've been recording since I joined too, so I have a copy. I think I know. I know a video editor. I think it sounds. I'm good at editing, child. Brush me. Okay. Mama be on YouTube in a little bit after this is done. What have the Recording two. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I only finally... Wait, stick to that again? Let me take a picture of that. We can save the old people. The <laughs> goes down in flames as a bright monument of hope seen across the sky for miles. My friends, please use the final save point this way. Uh, yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh. Yeah! Oh. Oh. Mother. Wow. What? Oh, here's Robot. Mm. <laughs> 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 
Okay, now you can do the thing. Congratulations! Where is the music? Oh my god! Congratulations! Congratulations! Whoa! Oh, jeez. My friends. My dearest friends. Your attention, please. This long story will now conclude. The mother's mech cruises steadily over the clouds. The sky is calm and clear. The mother looks back to see her daughter slowly blinking as the light shines over her sleepy eyes. Mama? Mama? Mama, where's the pilot? She's here. I dreamed you were with her. I know, Angel. I know. The mother says calmly. The daughter scrambles out of her seat and over to her mother's lap. There, she looks over the clouds to the horizon, her hopeful eyes searching from left to right. Where is she? Why can't I see her ship? Suddenly, the console's signal signals an incoming transmission. The mother looks at the blinking light. Is it her? Is it her, Mama? The mother checks the sky and slowly presses the button, accepting the connection. Calling for survivors. I repeat, this is the Ethos Coalition Search and Rescue Party. Transports have been dispatched to the Great Forest Region. Calling for survivors. I repeat, this is the Ethos Coalition Search and Rescue Party. We are alive, the mother answers. We hear you. Transports are landing on the coastline at the Great Forest Edge. Can you make it there? That won't be necessary. I will fly to you. Uh, fly? Ma'am, are you piloting something? We have reports the Dark Monument was destroyed. Was that your vessel that took it down? No, no, it... The daughter interrupts. It was the pilot and their legendary ship. Together with Mama, they stopped that bad monster. The mother motions for her daughter to be quiet. Ma'am, you've saved this entire region. If that's true, whatever you're piloting, I'm getting orders to lead you directly to Ethos HQ, sending coordinates to you now. Why is your location up in the sky? Are you scrambling my scanners? Ma'am, no. This is how to survive the Grey. These are coordinates to the aerial city Shavat. The daughter holds her mother's hand and nods. Shavat? Shavat. Mama, that's where I have to go. Having finally found a safe refuge, the mother and daughter fly off to the sky's horizon. That was quick. <laughs> I must go. My planet needs. <laughs> oh. Wow. Hello. Is this thing on? Travelers. Hello, travelers. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. I can hear you. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Travelers, I'm afraid I'm fading from this world. But I want to give you something as thanks for not giving up and never losing hope for her. 
I won't be needing this anymore. Ooh. Uh, Shiny. The sky had a baby. <laughs> no. <laughs> What? <laughs> Can I touch it? Can I won't touch it. I won't touch it. Where is it? Touch. Give me the crystal. We are the crystal gems. Travelers. Set it up. Travelers, this listen up. One mm. more thing. These crystals, they are strange things. They exist outside of time. When I look into a crystal, I see a message on a wall of a room somewhere. I don't know what it means, but I know I'm supposed to read it to you. It says, Raise your glass to sacred names in narratives we love, and the door of trust will open through old numerology. Travelers, it's over. It's finally over. That was not easy. That family went through a lot. You all went through a lot. But as long as we don't give up, there is always hope, travelers. You mustn't ever give up. Well, I'm off to a new adventure. Don't worry. I know we will meet again. My friends, my dearest friends, welcome to the good ending of the pilot. Congratulations. Congratulations. Roll credits. I'm kidding. Congratulations. My friends. My friends. A few announcements, and then I will elect us to do a group photo. But please, kindly lend me your ears just for one more minute. Thank you to the team that has helped me, my NPCs. Thank you dearly, Lurker and Goku God. You have done a great job. Everyone, please put your hands together for tonight's NPCs, Lurker and Goku God. And finally, thank you to you fast off for arranging this event and translating the quest. 10,000 thank yous. Yay! 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 My friends, we are VR travelers and we create immersive story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and wholesome team effort. Thank you for joining today's event. In return, I do ask something. I ask that you join our Discord and post the photos from today's tour that you took there or the comments you have about the story. We would like to know if you had a good time or not. Please feel welcome to join our Discord. The link to it is my status in VR chat. It should be discord.gg slash VR travelers finally my friends our tours are free and will always be free we do this to be a bright spot in the world today however if you would like to support us we do have a patreon if you join our patreon you will have access to behind the scenes construction of our future tours as well as the ability to play as NPCs in our other tours. The link to our Patreon is in the info channel of our Discord. 
and it's only three dollars per month. But don't worry, our tours you are said free. Two dollars. Three dollars per month. Uh, but don't worry, our tours are free. You said two and dollars we'll last week. Be free. Where is this? Where's three dollars? <laughs> What the f did you just uh, gain an engine dollar? Apologies. <laughs> you must be remembering. Have you taken I'm not sure you're thinking of not? euros. Maybe three euros? I don't know. If it makes you feel any better, you can spend more if you want to. Well then. Yeah, that's My friends, how about a group photo? Would we like to all stand around the crystal and take a photo together? Apologies, I'm out of breath. Sorry, I'll let the photographers <laughs> take it. Yeah, I'll definitely, I'll have some crystal meth here. Oh my Can gosh. I have some? 